All right, guys, this is going to be a real, real quick uh, tackle warehouse unboxing. I'm literally about to take stuff out of here and go and catch a bunch of fish on it right now. So I'm going to make this real, real quick. First, I got uh, Berkeley Chigger Cross. These are the Crazy Legs Chigger Cross. I'm using these as jig trailers. The colors are green and uh, cinnamon purple. Um, these work really good as flipping baits, but they also work really, really good as uh, jig trailers. I prefer to use these over the regular Chigger Crawl because they get a little bit more action. As long as you pull the antennas off and separate the tabs, these flap a lot more. Plus, you know, they come scented, so I don't have to add any scent to um, the bait that I'm using. Okay, we got a yellow Magic Havana. This is the uh, Golden Shiner color. Three quarters of an ounce uh, Japanese lure, or at least Japanese design. Um, it has rattles in it on the inside and actually pretty good hardware. It's uh, not a small bait by any means either. It's at least like five inches long. So I'm gonna be using this uh, to cover pretty big areas, um, big flats and uh, finding schooling fish out over open water that are chasing shad, stuff like that. I'm going to use this. Next, I've got a bunch of Brandon Cobb all-purpose jigs. I think I got either eight or ten of them. There's a bunch of them in a bunch of different colors. I've got Huckleberry, I've got uh, black and red, I've got pumpkin orange, all kinds of different um, of these jigs. These, I bought a couple of them and tried them. I liked them so much I had to get a pile of them. I had to get a bunch more of them because they're really, really, really good jigs and um, they're just super quality for the price that you pay for them. They're actually very uh, well put together. I'm gonna be using these as uh, an example when I um, go over some jig fishing videos. This weekend, I'm gonna be using it mostly. I'm uh, gonna be using these jigs mostly in those videos while I'm uh, going over some stuff. Really quality jig. I think that uh, the design by Brandon Cobb is actually very, very nice. Um, this all purpose jig can be used for, well, all purposes. You can swim it, you can uh, skip it, flip it, pitch it, drag it, hop it, all that kind of stuff. It doesn't do anything, any one thing the best, but it does a little bit of everything fairly well. So. That's what that's for. Next, I've got some big bite baits, uh, worms here. The tour swim worm. Uh, that tab on the tail comes uh, pinched together, so you have a paddle tail worm, and then when you separate it, you have a speed worm, swimming worm. These I've got especially, uh, specifically for um, swimming a worm through the grass. That's what uh, explains my color choices. I've got a sunfish pattern here, and I've got that uh, tilapia magic color there. Um, these I'm going to be swapping back and forth between. I got the sunfish color because the bass are just eating entirely too many bluegill right now. They're really, really focused on sunfish. And uh, they're on grass edges and uh, suspended just over grass and stuff like that, eating on uh, bluegills. And they're around bluegill beds right now still. So I got some uh, sunfish colored baits to um, imitate those panfish best as I can. Uh, bellows gills. These weren't actually part of the order. I just threw these in there because the box was open. <laughs> um, now nah, we've got the Zoom Z Craw and Huckleberry to match up with that jig. Z Craws were a staple. They're uh, a good flipping, pitching, punching bait, but also a really good jig trailer if you cut them down a little bit. Take about a quarter inch off of the head and stick them on the back of a jig. Um, we've got some more tungsten sinkers here, 5 16 ounce, just an in-between size, between 3 16 and a quarter ounce. I'm going to be using this for swimming a worm. Last big bite baits, uh, Crete Tail Lizard. The Crete Tail Lizard is a, is a bulked up, a little bit bigger uh, lizard than most people are used to using. Normally, uh, when you find lizards, they're about 6 inches long and all the appendages are pretty skinny. But with the Crete Tail... It's a larger overall body being eight inches long and it has the tail on it basically like a ribbon tail worm. They took the tail off the um, Crete tail worm and stuck it on a lizard body and just bulked it up a little bit. So I'm going to be using this mostly for uh, Texas rigs, Carolina rigs. I'm going to be throwing it around grass edges, logs, uh, stumps, fallen trees, all kind of stuff like that. Colors that I chose are tilapia. Again, to kind of imitate that bluegill, but also because uh, the sort of green pumpkin color I got going on right there. That green pumpkin takes really well to different dyes. Uh, if I take some JJ's Magic Chartreuse or some uh, Merthiolate, something like that, it really uh, brings out the color on a green pumpkin bait. 
uh, crime scene is a color that I got to kind of be experimental with. So that's going to be all for this little tackle warehouse unboxing. I am now going to pair some of this stuff up with my rods and go stick some bass.